So, eta us. What is eta us, and why is it pronounced so weird? Eta us is a fict lang, which is a subcategory of an art lang, which is a subcategory of a con lang. A con lang is different from a nat lang, natural language, because it is constructed outside of the natural development of real languages. But there are con langs designed with functional purposes, which mine is not. Eta us is an art lang, and not just any art lang, but a fict lang. Just like Klingon from Star Trek or Quenya from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> now there's an image, a Klingon and an elf trying to talk to each other. So I did go over some of the basics in the previous video. Now here are some of the details, and probably a better way to explain it now that I'm armed with a couple of terminologies. I created at us independently from learning linguistics. My goal was to try and create a language a priori that was far away from English. However, I got a really good English education based on how language on Earth works, so my attempt to make it different from English accidentally had me create a language alien from language itself. To start off, the most basic unit to a language with meaning is a morpheme. Such root morphemes or affixes that have the most basic unit of meaning like nom, in, and eight. Hey look, nominate. The word anti-disestablishmentarianism has seven morphemes, English borrows most of its morphemes from Latin and Greek. To give you an idea, there are over 500 of them from Greek and over 900 from Latin, at least 1400 of them. And I didn't even check the medical terminology roots for which there are hundreds more. So here are some conlangs that I discovered with some similar properties to us. As a language type, imagine one with a very low morpheme count. That is what an oligosynthetic language is, typically one that has very few ideally less than a hundred. Impossible, you say? Well, according to some linguistics, for human usage, it is impossible. For starters, Rho is a conlang created in 1904 by Edward Powell Foster, who intended each portion of a word to paint a whole picture. For example, he used the morpheme bofo to express color, and adding a single consonant to the N signified which color. But it was difficult in writing or speech to tell the difference between some of these specifics. Other languages have come in with the same concept, but most tend to steer clear from something so alien and undeveloped. Sona is an artificial language by Kenneth Searwright in 1935. He designed it from borrowing elements all over the world to produce 375 root words to express all the commonplace elements familiar to humans. But the general purpose here is to try and please multiple speakers on Earth by trying to take a snippet from here and there to try and not be biased. The result can be something nobody likes, or a feeling of communistic mashing of words which can create a problematic unfamiliarity to everyone rather than to no one. The issue then becomes the learning curve. AUI was made by John Welgert in 1962 as a means to create a form of communication that was based on universal aspects in language common to people around the world. He intended for each sound of words that were similar to also have similar meaning. His conlang has 31 morpheme phonemes, each with an associated meaning. These meanings should have sounds, he thought, appropriate to their feel of meaning. The title itself, AUI, means space, spirit, sound, or language, but despite its good intentions, it falls very short with ambiguity. Tokipana is a conlang by Sonia Lang in 2001. It only uses 14 phonemes, letters, and 120 root words. It boasts only 10 syntactic rules and restrictions on top of half a dozen or so phonotactic rules. Meaning is derived from whole of context in which most all words are very neutral. They could be verbs or they could be nouns, but it is a minimal language, used only to express those most basic elements of communication on a Taoist philosophy. So, like these, Eta us is an oligosynthetic language, and to start explaining it off a little bit more, I created a new linguistic term, semiphonem. Why? Because in this conlang, things get really weird and very, very basic. In layman's terms, a semiphonem is both a letter and a word. In linguistics, a semiphonem is a unit of semantics that is collectively a semim, free morphem, and a graphem. A semiphonic alphabet would be one in which every letter is a semiphonem. These semiphonems are what et us is built on, and from here on, I will just refer to them as letter words, for the ease of the broader audience. 
its alphabet has 40 letter words. Though also by true linguistic definition, an alphabet is made up of consonants and vowels set as equals. But that doesn't work here either because Ethos does not recognize the existence of consonants or vowels in the first place. By any other definition though, this would I guess be an alphabet. All letter words are listed in order from a hierarchy from up and most important, that would be Q, to the lowest and least, which would be Ik, with Hai forming the middle ground. And I just named the basic definitions of each of those three letter words, Q, Hai, Ik. There are a total of about 60 different morphemes, semiphonemes as I call them. This makes et us an oligosynthetic language. Like Rho, et us allows a user to see and hear clear pictures of meaning from the sounds. They have an appropriate feel to them and have meanings assigned to letters like AUI and keep the freedom of neutrality of words like Tokipana. But by utilizing the same strict and simple placement rules, not only can et us create more words than English, but create meanings that English cannot interpret or has no comparative word. The number of possible word combinations by relative safe estimates and disregarding several redundancies in directional letters exceeds 6 million. The English language, despite its expansive 1400 morphemes due to the strict nature of its rules, grammar, and forced labels of its word forms, make up anywhere between 500,000 and 1 million words. This is more than six times less than Etaas, a functional oligosynthetic language.